Good, good morning once more. Victor and Luke. Uh, to, good morning, today, Coach. Yeah, morning, morning. Today is uh, just a practicing day. We will first look at, we will review Victor's work. Victor, I think you have seen the email I've already sent and I've sent my feedback on the Bodim 70 work that you gave me. So we'll review your work. That is what we are going to do. That will be the first phase of, of this particular session. The second phase will go to the question that I gave you yesterday. I'll give you a bit of some time for you to do cross-pollination. I just need one paper from you. Then again, we'll review it. Uh, look, look, I know you didn't give me the podium seven work. But uh, I'm sure to be a learning point, we'll, we'll review what Victor did, some few errors that he, he made. The question read, Bobby, a public limited company, operates in the manufacturing sector. The draft statements of financial position at the 1st December 2017 as follows. We have proper plant and equipment. We have the investment in 70, which is that, which you should always connect to this part. The question reads, the following information is, is relevant to the preparation of the group financial statements. On 1st January 2017, Bobby acquired 80% of the equity interest of um, seven per cash consideration of five four. Again, we should be always, we should, we should always. So we should always co connect this to what is in the balance sheet on investments. The identifiable net assets on seven had a fair value of 3,400 million. So, we know that this part will find itself in working two. And the retained earnings were 600, and the other components of equity were 400. So I've been given the 600 on retained earnings, equity of 400. The difference, we know that it should be share capital. But if we, it's beyond share capital of 2,000, then we know that there's also a component of fair value. Because if we get 600 plus 400, it gives us, it gives us 1,000. 1,000 less or, or 3,000 minus 1,000, we get 2,400. So we know that there's a 400 that is coming in as fair value or something that we don't know, which we are yet to know from, from, from the examiner. So <clears throat> says, the excess in fair value is due to an item of non-depreciable land. So we now know where this difference is coming from, from land, and it's non-depreciable. So we don't need to crack our heads on determining how much depreciation was there at the time that we were acquiring the subsidiary company so that we subtract it. So we know it's non-depreciable, so we will not, we'll not lose sleep whatsoever. 
the fair value of a non-controlling interest at the date of acquisition was 700. So here the examiner is indirectly telling us that we should not use the proportionate of net assets, but we should go for the fair value. So we use this fair value in our working tool. It is the group policy to measure the non-controlling interest at acquisition at fair value. So we've been told, but even if we are not told, as long as there was this amount here, we would actually assume that the examiner wants us to use fair value. Otherwise, they are not going to, 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 to waste their time in valuing the NCI at the time of acquisition. But what that line does, it removes all sort of any type of assumption that we needed to bring in. We don't need to guess. Prepare the group consolidated statement of financial position of Bobby as at the 1st December 2017. So we are not going to reinvent the wheel. We'll actually check what Victor did and look at the errors that Victor made. If at all, if, if at all there were errors. Okay. Okay. So, from goodwill in the balance sheet up to cash, Victor was okay. So, the goodwill is assured of getting a three max here. On equity, he was okay. He had a problem with retained earnings and other components of equity. Yesterday, we did agree that the computations on other components of equity will be similar or is similar to what? Look. Hello, Victor. Uh, it's similar to retained earnings one. To retained earnings. And this is yeah. the thing that we did. Where is it? Oh my God. Let me just move this. It's here. Other components of equity is an additional reserve that constitutes any reserve that does not go into retained earnings. It could therefore include share premium, revaluation reserve, gain, so closer than fair value through other comprehensive income investments. In the group accounts, it is treated in exactly the same way as the group retained earnings, which is obviously 100% coming from the parent company, and a proportionate of the post-acquisition, your proportionate as if, if, you have, if you bought, say, 70% of the equity interest in the subsidiary, and that is what we're going to use to compute that. So on that one, Victor missed the memo. He did not read the memo. So it caused all these problems. On the NCI, you were on spot. So let's just check on the on the on the workings. So what you did from equity share capital up to other income, this was okay. The only thing you missed was on none at report date we needed to adjust to include the non-depreciable land of 400, which obviously was at also at acquisition, giving us post-acquisition where we have zero this side. But the advantage, because it is non-depreciable, we are not going to task ourselves to include depreciation on this one. No, we are not going to do that. 
But then the mistake that you made was on this job. Under retained earnings, you should have only shown the 400 as a possible uh, acquisition times the percentage, in this case, it was 80. Then this 225 should have come in. So let's see what you did. Mm -hmm. So here, what you should have picked was the 400. It's the 400. So you should have actually picked 39. Yeah. Then down here, you should have then now gone up. Pick the eight times two hundred and twenty five, giving you that one one thing. So, what it means is in the balance sheet, that then here, this is the amount that you needed to have. Good money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Victor, has it dropped off? Uh, maybe it's connectivity. Yeah, I'm sure it's connectivity. Mm -hmm. Look, we understand that eh? it basically it was just on other um, components. Other so components, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I understand. Maybe you should give us another one with other components as well. Besides what the I'm thinking is better in this thing, you deal with this question just here. You deal okay. with this question, then we review it together. All right, that's fine. But let him come first. All right. Yeah. So, Victor, I, I I guess you you appreciate where you made some minor errors. So, just on two components, on the treatment of retained yeah, energy I... and other components. Yeah. Yes, I appreciate it. Sure. So if the, can I ask something else, Coach? Please, please do. If there was a depreciation on the, on the, on that land, so what you could have done, you could have done. Making number two. Yeah, so we could have actually put the depreciation here. Because then at the acquisition, we need to know up to at the report date, what was that, what was the depreciation? Suppose the depreciation was 100. So we're going to do that. But then meaning that we're actually going to have under post acquisition, we are going to have depreciation as well as minus 100, reducing these components here. Mm -hmm. So that depreciation, what does it do? The depreciation affects retained earnings because then what it means is that you have you overstated your profits. Sorry, coach. I don't know if it's me. You yeah. are breaking from my side. Look, oh, can okay. you... let, me, let me just try. I can hear him. I can hear him loud and clear. Oh, okay. Then then it is the so problem is with look. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, but look, are you able to hear me now? 
I can hear you loud. Yeah, I can case. hear you now, but I can oh, hear yeah. you. And so what I'm saying is that if there was a depreciation, we are going to include it in here because then what it does, it reduces your retained earnings. It means that your retained earnings are overstated by that depreciation which you never accounted for. So we're going to include our depreciation down here. If this was depreciable, depreciable, sorry. So we're going to have that. Then obviously at, at acquisition, there, was, well, there wasn't going to be anything, but at post acquisition, this hundred was going to come this side. So all this we're going to do, let me just do this. I use the proper format. So we are going to have a hundred there and also a hundred to this side to adjust the numbers that we have. So this is what we are going to do, Victor. Is it okay? Yeah, I know you will, okay. face the, you will face this problem in the other question. You will face it. Anyway. In, in, in exam situation, do, do you show the workings of your depreciation there somewhere? Yeah, you can you can do your working somewhere, yeah. But you obviously can if you want, you can call it working what, but it may just be a sub-working of your working too, just down there, just okay. to show where your workings are coming from. Yeah. Okay. If you don't show, will you lose any marks? No, you won't as long as you have included it in there because it's a straightforward thing. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But like we have always said is that if you are able to compute it mentally, then put it on paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to this question. And I'll definitely you have to do it. Then you I'll just give you a bit of some time, maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. As a group okay. way. Mm -hmm. All right. It reads, oh, let me first give you the right to share because I know one of you will be sharing as you work on this. Mm. Okay, can be the, a public limited company operates in the manufacturing sector. The draft statements of financial position at the 1st December 2019 as follows. So we have the balance sheet for both Kambi and Tukuta. Uh, uh, non current assets, we have investments down there, our balance sheet, and we have this statement. That reads, the following information is relevant to the preparation of the group financial statements. On 1st January 2019, Kambi acquired 70% of the equity interest of Tukuta for a cash consideration of 1340 million at, the, at 1st January 2018. The identifiable net assets of Tukuta had a fair value of 1850 million and retained earnings were 450 million. The excess in fair value is due to an item of property plant and equipment that has a remaining use of life of 10 years. Mm -hmm. It is the group policy to measure the non-controlling interest at acquisition, at acquisition, as a proportionate, this shouldn't have been added, as a proportionate share of the fair value of the subsidiary net assets. On 1st July 2019, Cambly acquired 25% of the equity interest of, of Bain for a cash consideration of 200 million kwacha. Bain's profits for the year were 80 million kwacha, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 1st December, 2019. The 25% holding gives Cambridge the power to participate in the operating and financing decisions of Ben. Prepare 
is a group consolidated statement of financial position of Kambiri as at the 1st December 2019. So this is 8.28. I'll give you about 30 minutes. You'll be able to share. I'll mute myself and I'll go to bed. And then I'll wait. Okay. Yes. Right. So let me just pause the recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, take me through. Uh, so what we did is our uh, working one, the group structure, mm -hmm. the parent, 70%, subsidiary, 30%, mm -hmm. and then working two, net assets in the subsidiary. Mm -hmm. Uh, we took the the subsidiaries uh, one thousand it's reporting debts. What is in the balance sheet? Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, there's a statement which says the net assets were valued at one eight fifty, and then our share capital in the retained ends is one four fifty. So the difference. That's uh, PPE, which is depreciable. That's how we got the 400. Mm -hmm. And then the depreciation is for two years, and then we put in the depreciation. Mm -hmm. The eight, the, 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 the eight. Eh? Mm -hmm. So our net assets becomes 1850, post tax and 270. Mm -hmm. And then we go to good, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. The fair value of the parent was 1340. Mm -hmm. And then uh, NCI, they say the proportionate of the net assets of the subsidiary. Mm -hmm. So we just took 30% of 1850. Mm -hmm. Then we get 1895. And then we less the net assets. Mm -hmm. And then we get we get a good view of forty five. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the NCI it acquisition we just taking from our working three. Mm -hmm. And then the post acquisition thirty percent of the post acquisition which is two seventy. Mm -hmm. And then we get uh, six thirty six. Okay, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the group retained earnings are there. That's where the confusion started. <laughs> okay, let's see how it went. We took the parent uh, 100%, mm -hmm. 1450. Mm -hmm. And then 70% of the subsidiaries post acquisition. That's 70% of uh, 350 should be. Okay, let's just there. Mm -hmm. So suppose you do this thing. The, you have the 270 there. If you remove the 270, 270, the 245 doesn't look doesn't look normal. Do you know why? What you're picking basically is your post acquisition, isn't it? Well, I should have picked, I picked wrong. Huh? I should yeah. have picked the 2350, right? Huh? 270. You're supposed to pick 270. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. But for me, that's the 42. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then profit from the associates. Mm -hmm. It's ten, yes. which is uh, which is twenty five percent. Uh, what is it? Is it twenty five percent of eighty by six months? Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then dividends received. Uh huh. 
which is 25 percent of 20. Hmm. So they get one six. Uh, weren't we supposed to reduce our group retained earnings by the 10? Huh? No, no, you're supposed, supposed to, to you're supposed to add because what you had the first mm. the first the first 1450 is coming from the parent company their own businesses isn't it that's their retained yeah. earnings yeah. then yeah. the 189 yeah. is coming from your subsidiary whatever retained earnings that was generated after you acquired the company that is what comes in there that is okay mm -hmm. and fair play then you also invested, you did not just invest in a subsidiary, you invested in an associate as well, where you are getting that mm. pain, and that is why you're adding it. Is it not double if you're adding it there and then in the in working six is also there? No, in working, working six, six is an investment, so it's an asset that one. It's an asset. Oh, okay. Remember, you're looking so at the, the double and entry. The years. All right, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. You understand it now. Yes. Okay. Because otherwise, if you are not going to have the assets, then you are, you, are, you, are, you are not going to balance your balance sheet. Because the question would be, yes, you have this particular funding. Because mm -hmm. what you are seeing in Working 5 is just a funding. But that funding must be applied to your assets. Assets, has okay. It increased your, has it increased your cash? Has it increased your proper plant and equipment? What has it increased up there? Okay. Mm. And then the dividends. Then, yeah, the dividends less. there, you also have to subtract, isn't it? Otherwise, you double count it. Yeah. On the associate, on the, the associate. Or well, yeah, we are supposed mm. to, to. You are supposed to subtract. Okay. Otherwise, you are going to double count. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. So check on the balance sheet okay. now. Is it balancing? Yes, it's balancing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I think, look, my mistake is I had uh, picked the wrong figure. Oh, on, yeah. on working? On the group. Yeah. I was correct, yeah, but on my on, on my working, yeah, I picked uh, the wrong. I then picked, also uh, subtracting the dividends on in the dividend, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So congrats, then, yeah. you've done a very good job. <laughs> Yeah. So it's an issue of uh, practicing. Yeah, definitely. Now I don't know when we are going to meet. Suggest when we are going to meet. Um, I don't know, Tomorrow Victor. Tuesday, we are back to work. Can are, are we able to do the six o'clock, the six p.m. that we usually do? Yes, I think we are. We are able to. But when? Tomorrow. Is it okay? Tuesday. Yeah, I think it's fair play. Tomorrow it's okay. So that you okay. can work fast. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, you I can check out before tomorrow. you know about other issues. Checking out. Yeah, now the video. Okay, we're seeing something. Uh, I, I think he is so far so good for me. Mm. It's just the little, the little, the little errors that I have to pay attention to, mm -hmm. so that I score hundred percent, yes, not yes. see eighty percent. Yeah. So the the little errors that I have to mm. to pay attention. But, but to. now I'm sure you've mastered the the stages, isn't it? Um, I've mastered the, the stages. Mm. The stages I'm mastering mm. them. Hello. Yeah, um, I think um, I'm getting there. Um, just like um, like this, this attention to detail, like the small issues, like Victor has said, is is what I need to also look out for. Um, but uh, I think the basics, I, I'm getting them, and I think um, I'm almost at a comfortable level. But with more practice, I think I should be able to be uh, super confident with um, uh, with my understanding. Sure. But uh, so far, so good. The basics are there. It's just um, maybe paying attention to things like dates um, and then and, and the periods that, that I need to make sure that I watch out for in any uh, question that I face. 
So I'll just check on my database and check some few scenarios on um, share for share exchange, deferred cash, uh, deferred liabilities, so that you start looking at just those components from a question, not really looking at the whole question, but just looking at uh, those tricky components. So I'll, 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 I'll dig deeper or I'll mine my, my database so that I, I find some few questions that you can start practicing. Because it's through practicing that you become better. Mm. Definitely yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. And you, 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 you might know the trend. So obviously we'll we'll be getting the mm. uh, what they call sporting. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. yeah. Okay, let's meet tomorrow at eighteen. Thank you so okay. much. We, it will be very Thank difficult you. now for new entrants. <laughs> it will be very difficult. Trust me. Yeah, it will be. Mm. William didn't yeah, call you. Mm, he didn't. Yeah, I think mm. it's, uh, they will call you tomorrow because I think maybe it's the issue of con connectivity when people are at home. Mm. They would want to use maybe Wi-Fi when they're at work. But you should warn them. It, it should be difficult. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But I think maybe because he's doing it for the second time, so it will be it won't be a uh, all hope lost for him actually 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 my my experience with the students who are rewriting are the worst <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just my experience okay <laughs> they, they come in with the, an attitude of knowing me they okay. you find that uh, they start missing in terms of the because i think the whole issues is about groundwork definitely yeah well, there will be questions, there will be times when it will be, if, as we move on, where I would say, on working two, you do this. Then mm. someone cannot really regenerate because people do these things differently. What is what yeah. she's talking about? If I say, no, on working yeah. five, this is what you do. Mm. Mm. Okay, Victor, want to say something? No, what I want, I want to say, if you do, is it okay we do Tuesday and then we do Thursday? We jump Wednesday and then we do Thursday again. Yes, yes, it's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. Right, that's Tuesday. okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Yes. Right. Okay. Cheers, Victor. Cheers. Bye.